30 minutes. All right. Let's roll. Tits up. Ooh. Chi Chi's up. Guys, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we just launched our new Work For Your Boobies collection, and we are donating 100% of proceeds to Beer For Boobs, a nonprofit that has raised over $400,000 for American Cancer Society. So super stoked about that. Yes, and we Mel, are hyped to be. Where are we? Well, we are, one, in Boone, Blowing Rock, blowing I rock. guess. We're out Carolina. of Boone now. We've, uh, we've made it up to the Blowing Rock. It was a little bit of a perilous drive, but we made it through. And uh, we are at the Blowing Rock Brewing Company. We sure are. Who are you? I'm Mel. Who are you? I'm Alicia. We are the co-founders of Work For Your Beer. And we are filming We'll, we'll Take the Lot where we taste every beer on the menu, tell us, tell you what we think. Yes. You tell us what you yeah, think. I you don't... also tell us. We don't uh, and yeah, we're going to taste everything, and then we're probably going to tell some personal stories and just, you know, talk at you for the next 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, so uh, we are super stoked to be here. One, this is our last day in the Boone Blowing Rock area. Which is such a bummer, but it's been a blast. Yes, we have had... One, everyone is so nice here. So nice. Every single person we've met has been just so open and yes. happy and like willing to help. And, and excited about what we're doing. And yesterday we were on a chairlift and a girl said from the other side of the chairlift <laughs> at the ski resort, she was maybe like 13. She was a teenager. She was a baby, sort. which they're usually kind of mean. And she was like, you're both really pretty, and Mel and I almost burst into tears. I literally was like, oh, thank you. We were very excited. Oh my god, it was amazing. Yeah, we had a blast. Uh, but yeah, it's our last day here, and Alicia is stoked about not having to drive on the windy roads anymore. God, and I just, I drive like a boat. It's the Toyota Solera. It's lovely when you're in a city. It is genuinely terrifying to navigate around tight turns. It has been You've done challenge. great. Thank I feel like so I've much. given as much positive affirmations as I can because she's been crushing it. She it's didn't... Been I think it's the other people on the road who yeah. have not been crushing it. Stay on your side of the goddamn line, yes. is all that I'm saying. Why? I don't understand. It doesn't um, seem necessary. I think we need a beer. I think, I think we that's do. that's where we're at. You know what? I do want to briefly applaud ourselves because we didn't use our hangover preventing medication this weekend. We just we're responsible moderated adults. like yeah. mature humans. So we've learned to take the lots max per day. Correct. Three, too much. Driving after three on these roads, non we could We physically could not do that. Absolutely not. Um, and then the other thing is that well, when we get to round three of take the lot, we're already a little tired. And also we are definitely dr like drunk Man, at that point. You can tell when you watch our videos <laughs> if we're on the third one. <laughs> Uh, it's so, not the best. We've got a system now. Two per day. One in the morning, usually before the brewery opens. Then we eat lunch, and then we do the second one. Yep. We're doing it. We're and we it. do it late enough in the morning that we've gotten a workout in already. Yes. Which is the other half of work for your beer. Yes, we have hey, to Mel, work out. What's work for your beer? Oh, so we are a directory for all the places you can work out and drink. So think beer yoga, run clubs, bike and brews, all that kind of stuff. What's happening at breweries, even trivia, because you're working your mind. Exactly. And we are alcohol agnostics. So yes. we do also have work for your wine, work for your booze. Yeah. You can work for whatever the hell you want. You I know some people work for their pizza. Yeah. Work for your boots. Work for your tacos. We, we, yeah. A lot I mean, of anything. You can do all the things. And, yeah. And it's great. It's the concept is that it's a a healthy, balanced lifestyle, right, guys? Exactly. You don't have to sacrifice everything that you love in order to be a happy, healthy person. You can work out and drink. Yes. And we're going to drink right now. That's it's the That's time. it. Um, What's so number one here, mama? We're starting with a Schwarzbier. A Schwarzbier. Um, so oh, yeah. this is 5.3% ABV. Smell it. it smells really good. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Nice and this malty. This dark brown German lager has a mild malt character with flavors of caramel and toffee. It it's is. sweet. It's really funny because we always start with a lager and a Schwarzbier is just a dark lager. Yes. That's and it's, amazing. Uh, uh, is it sweet? It's really good. It's okay. like caramel-y. It says it's smooth and sweet without the heavy-bodied feel of a dark beer. Very cool. Ooh, this beer was first produced in Saxony, Germany in 1543, and it's believed to have been consumed since oh the Middle God. Ages. This is delicious. Isn't that good? I never wow. think to get a Schwarzbier, but it's funny. Uh, my husband... He's German. Um, his family, his family loves Schwarzbiers, and so anytime that we're with mm. his family, we always have a shit ton of these. Oh, that's so good. Wow, I'm shocked. We never think to order this on a menu, but it's delightful. And I think this is the second one we've had this weekend too. Uh -huh. Didn't we have another one at? We had um, one at Beach Jude? Mountain, but oh, okay. I think this one's better. It's good. Not that, that I like really to, good. you know, compare. That's a good 
first beer to kick off. That with. was solid, yeah. Uh, and the next one's Oktoberfest. So I like that we're like a little more seasonal off the bat. Yes, I've also been in such an Oktoberfest. No, we've been vibing hard. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's October, even though it's in. September. I'm also just like clutching at <laughs> whatever I possibly can find joy in during 2020 because it's been a fucking nightmare. Yep. So. I'm very excited to do all the fall things. I went apple picking. Mm. We're gonna paint pumpkins this week. Ooh, I like not to, carve? No, Okay. I don't like dealing with the guts. Ooh, okay. I love the guts, that's of my favorite Of course you do, part. you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> it feels like I've murdered someone and I'm holding their innards and I hate it. Also, oh, do you remember what I carved last year because I didn't really want to carve a pumpkin? No. I did this teeny, tiny face. Oh, the tiny face? <laughs> Big ass pumpkin, and I used a drill and did two tiny eyes and just a tiny smile, <laughs> and it looked so dopey because it's like this big pumpkin and this face is like this big. That's um, so funny. But you yeah. know, I like um, one scooping out the guts because it feels cool. Two, roasting the pumpkin seeds. That's after. a fair point. I do love eating roasted pumpkin seeds. Yes. It's nice to add a little crunch on the salad. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Put a little, just like a little sea salt on it. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Um, man, we have been like had good luck with Oktoberfest beers this Yeah, weekend. and Whitney, we fucking know that Oktoberfest is in September. We My understand. husband's German. We Again. understand it, but Stop we're it. allowed to drink it in October. You're not allowed to be mean to me. You're a nice girl. <laughs> Whitney. All right. Uh, that one's delicious. So this one... Um, oh. It is, uh, this is what I want in my mouth at all times. It says, it pours with a brilliant golden copper color, which sure does. yes, it absolutely does. And the malty aroma evokes notes of breaded caramel. Mm -hmm. We decided, oh, we did the poll last time, caramel versus caramel, caramel one. So yes. we're gonna go with caramel from now on. Thank you for voting. Um, but this says a traditional hot profile delivers a malt forward smooth finish to this well-balanced seasonal brew. I will say sometimes I feel like people try to sneak some additional flavors into an Oktoberfest, but this is very traditional to the style and just like extremely well-balanced. It's really good. Both of these first ones, I'm very impressed. So It's not to say we've had any bad beer this weekend, but we did end yesterday at a spot where it's like much more catered to activity outside yeah. than it is to the beer And program. they have tons of IPAs and like, you know. I'm fine with that, but I like variety. Power to them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, IPAs are my thing. <laughs> They're Mel's not, not allowed to wear the small hoops. <laughs> Gretchen Wieners. All right. Um, we're on a blonde now, speaking of you. Speaking of me, <laughs> me being Regina George. What do we got? What do uh, we got? Glowing Rock, absolute blonde ale. Sessionable American blonde ale with Belma and Callista hops featuring notes of what? I love doing this because you're so much better at this, Ooh. but they're different. They're not normal notes you get. No, they're not. From a blonde. Give me a minute. Okay. It, do, it does say the small batch is absolutely delightful. Wow. I'm getting some type of citrus for sure. Okay. Ooh. Lemon? Nope. Grapefruit? Nope. Damn it. What is it? Strawberry, passion fruit, and white peach. I think my brain was like, this can't be I don't that know. fruity. I've never had one with these flavors. That's that, so good. That's a very like interesting combination yeah, of three for different sure. fruits. Wow, that's but it, it's also it's not like this is like a fruit beer. It's notes of it. So right. I would have been impressed if you got all this. Honestly, it's you definitely taste that it's fruity, but my brain couldn't immediately Ooh, decide. Taste what it fruit. again and get the white peach. The white peach. White peach is my favorite. Smacks you. you know that I fucking. You love can peaches. smell it too. You can definitely smell it now that you've said it. Well, and that's also the power of suggestion, right? And I hate. I love to try. Like the times that I actually get it, when we when Mel's like and notes of. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm a little bummed right now, but I'll come back. <laughs> I'm. I'm always like. Uh, Tastes like a beer flavored beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, this one tastes like it should be caramel. And Alicia's like, that's right. Like, and you get you, real excited. You pulled a flavor. Wow, you're totally right. I definitely get the peach in it. Yes. I that. It's really good. But my brain was like, a blonde, blonde usually wouldn't have a peach, so I'm going to say lemon. But you're a blonde with a peach. I am a blonde with a peach. So that's perfect for you. Okay. That's like literally your beer. That's really good. That's I really so like me. that. Yeah. You look so proud. I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, wow, this whole board is so insanely strong. And so the far. next one is the one that caught my eye on the beer menu immediately. It's a chai kolsch. I'm super excited about I, this. Here, you read the uh, description of this and I'm gonna suckle it because it 
Okay, our Kolsch style ale puts a North Carolinian twist on a classic European recipe. Yes. This new fall variety takes the flavors of this season to your favorite year round beer. Light, refreshing body, esters of citrus peel, and lager like finish complement the sweet and savory spice profile of cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, and ginger. This is That's so my favorite good. combination. Does it's it taste so like good. fall in a cup? Yes. Oh my god. And it's, it's not like your traditional dark, like, here are all the flavors like in a, a dark beer. Border. Oh my yeah. god, this one's really good. Ooh, it smells delightful. That's the thing too, is like Kolsch, you don't normally get like tons of flavors thrown mm -hmm. in. It's usually like, the, it's these got, are like, like very interesting twists on traditional beer styles and I really like it. I agree Beautiful. and I would usually say a Kolsch is just kind of like sweet and malty. Yeah. Um, so this is, wow. That's really good. Oh my god, that's so good. I would buy that candle. It. Watch out, there's a little one. I got him. Okay. <laughs> the last time you told me to watch out, it was a poisonous caterpillar. Mm. So we've got to be careful. Yes. That one though wasn't a like a light woo. That was a scream on my part. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first. Wait, board. I want more of it. Okay, cool. That one. I picked this one. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say of all of these, I think my favorite might be this Schwarz beer. That is a really good beer. Yeah, this is all of them were really good on board number one. This is a tough one. Can I tell you a story? No. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, when when we still had Snapchat. Uh, or when that was still like a thing that people were doing, which I actually think the young kids are still doing it. Yeah, I think Snap is still relevant, but yeah. TikTok overtook I just, the, the small kids. I can't care. <laughs> I can't care about all the things. I refuse. We are on Instagram. Exactly. That but is our platform. When we were on Snapchat, back when Andrew and I were still dating long distance, so mm -hmm. man, we're going back like seven years now. Yep. Uh, we were still at school, and Andrew's Snapchat name was Schwarzpizza. <laughs> which is the uh, German anti-Santa Claus. Okay. So he's the one that if you were bad, he like punished you. Like from the office? Of, that's Belschnickel, which okay. is the Pennsylvania Dutch version of Schwarzpeter. Got Peter. it, got it. But <laughs> Schwarzpeter, and that was Andrew's Snapchat name, and he would get the most random uh, snaps from girls in Germany being oh my like, God. punish me, Schwarzpeter. I'm like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, not allowed, unacceptable. Hard pass. Yeah, absolutely not. Wow. But this Schwarz beer is my jam right That's now. amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, we're moving on. Wait, I have exciting news. Ooh, what? We're gonna get to chug one of these at the end. I'm very I'm excited. I'm so excited. But what if we pick the cans? And then we have to chug the cans. <laughs> so bad at okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. So we are on Scotch Ale. This okay. is a 7.8% beer, so Ooh. a little bit heavier here. Uh, it is made with pale and biscuit malts and just enough roasted barley to create a strong, complex version of this wonderful seasonal it ale. It smells I nice love how seasonal tea. everything is. I agree. Really happy. I also love how detailed these descriptions are because sometimes yes. it's like, it's fucking scotch ale. And you're like, Great. cool. What if I didn't know what a scotch ale was? I do on a Cicerone. Uh, but like, what if I didn't? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this one, I feel like I just want it in my mouth. A little on the boozier side, obviously, yeah, compared to everything that we just drank. Um, and a little sweeter mm. as well. I think that's really nice for, like, if it's a tiny bit nippy outside and you're around Ooh. a campfire, this would warm up your Your innards. soul? <laughs> innards is what I went with. No, Ooh. I'm on the soul side. I think soul was the better way to go. I like, Sorry. I like both. It'll, it'll warm you up. Yeah. Get, get you a little toasty. Trying to get get things up. Did we mention that we built a fire? Because we did it. Okay, we <laughs> is very generous of you. Mel built a fire. <laughs> I blew a little bit and that was it. That's... We did it though. We made a freaking roaring fire. And then promptly we're like, we're not building another one for inside this glamping Yeah, room. we're like, we we'll refused. just wear an extra blanket. Yeah, we were like, we'll cuddle <laughs> under this one blanket in this king size bed. But and... I'm proud. Fire making is not an easy thing to do. And we didn't even have any newspaper for Kindle, so we really had to work for it. Yeah, we picked some dry leaves. We used a couple of really shitty fire starters. I, I will say, I wouldn't recommend the dry leaf method. That I don't think worked for us. That was honestly but, a non-starter. But we caught, we did it. We made it I'm happen. I'm so proud of you. Wilderness woman. And the first time <laughs> we said wilderness woman, again, I'll repeat, we got attacked by a poisonous <laughs> caterpillar that had giant black spikes on it. It was terrifying. <laughs> Hated Never it. again. Hated it. Um, okay. okay, so we are on to Red the Rider. Red Rider. Tell me. Tell me about it. This Andrew one, loves a red ale. This is the simplest description they have on here, and it just says classic amber base, delicious specialty malts, finished with Scottish yeast. But you know what? They don't need more than that. Right to We the don't point. need anything more than that. It is. Also, I think mm, smell. it has to be new that no, I'm... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't drank it yet. I can't smell anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it smells kind of caramely. It smells um, really good. 
I think Untapped recently had to have added the calorie thing because this is the second day in a row we've seen calorie counts on it, and I love that. Good job. You know Untapped. what? I will say. Untapped. When are you buying us? Untapped. <laughs> if you could just buy us and then list everyone's fitness activities, we wouldn't have to do this whole thing separately. And you me. have immediate entertainment. Yes. It feels like a natural fit. It feels like you don't even have just to pay us that much. You can just have yes. us. Yeah. Let's just take us. Yeah. Untapped. Take us. <laughs> Can I, can I seduce Untapped into working with us? I feel like we were going to work at the beer festival with them. I know. We're like close. We're this close to having that so close. Strong. Um, I will say it's been really helpful. So listen, look, I've been trying to lose weight. It's not going well, but I've been using Noom, the app, and it's like, what are you drinking? So that we know how many calories it has. And I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, like it's not it's like you're gonna scan in the beer to Noom and they're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's well, a 187 calorie beer. Like, and I'll even do it sometimes where I'm like, okay, I'm looking at the can, I'm trying to find it, and it doesn't include it. So I actually really like. I but love that they have that on I'm here. gonna guess it's probably hard even for brewers to calculate. Well, the I wonder calories. if it's just like it's this, it, like these are the ingredients and it calculates it on their end. Because are you calculating? You can. Oh. Yeah. Alcohol okay. content? That makes sense. For the sugars. Interesting. Um, oh. Heads up. Uh, Rocky's hanging out of here. Head brewer Rocky <laughs> at uh, Blowing Rock Brewing Company is here, and we are so incredibly thrilled to be learning from a fantastic woman in beer. Okay, Best. so this... It does make me nervous when I'm trying to taste notes in these beers, though, because I'm like, she's going to know. She's going to know <laughs> if I'm making it up. I can't bullshit. So this space has so many women in beer, and mm -hmm. we're so stoked to be here. It's um, half owned by women. Yep. Um, and then we've got Tuesday. Rocky she's Brewing, awesome. killing it, and uh, Cassie. The, yeah, the marketing gal like this is a, a fantastic like woman uh, like woman owned slash run slash everything everything space women marketed it's love just, it it's so interesting to me too we walked in and it was like women of just like three different generations that were all yes. blonde badass yeah so i was pretty fucking excited about yeah that. we're stoked about it anytime that we can represent women in beer we're so we're here incredibly for happy yes all right what's all right. up what do we got so we are on wait we didn't try that one i did oh did you like it i did like okay. it okay <laughs> i'm a big fan of a you red you took it away from me and then you were gonna put it back that you know what i thought that you drank it <laughs> i got confused <laughs> it's okay. Mel. i Rude. want it i want it put it in your mouth okay great mm -hmm. uh so the thing with an, a red ale again is that it's a little bit on the Ooh. higher abv as compared to all of our lagers but i i think that it's a little on the sweeter side it is it's got a sweet finish right. which is nice and i would say it's a little bit more approachable for people who are maybe newer to beer who are like trying to lean in but i don't want people to aim for like a beer with all the like extracts and stuff like how we weaned into beer with like um Good morning, Vietnam. Yes. Good morning, Vietnam from Wooden Robot Brewery, which is made with just like the sweetest vanilla beans. And I just always felt so basic drinking it. This is like, it's sweet because it's supposed to be sweet and it's going to make it really easy for you to wean into drinking Yeah, that beer. one's a really approachable beer. Mm -hmm. And like, I would never be like, you know what's an approachable beer? A red. Because I just don't drink enough of them. I burped. You did burp. Hey, you guys hey, keep Hey, the person who counts how many times that we burp and comments it with timestamps in the comments. It. I, I burped. Oh, wait, uh, uh, I have one coming. Do you? <laughs> Mel's like, well, Mine now that it's way more aggressive. <laughs> Mel's like, now that they're gonna tell me that I won the burp competition, I have to fucking burp. We didn't all even the time. know it was a competition. No, we I didn't. I love that it's a competition. I don't. What's up? Well, we open at twelve. They open at twelve. Oh. They open at twelve. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not twelve. Eleven fifty-seven. Oh, he's so close. Oh. Give me your last three minutes. Oh God. All right. It's we okay. have to drink so fast. We're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. We're on the first IPA of the bunch. We are on the first IPA, so it says, <clears throat> This mountain brewed path of our legacy IPA leads your senses to evident but not overwhelming hop presence from careful kettle and whole leaf infusions. Centennial hops provide distinct complexities of... Are you scared? Um, Did I scare you? Let's see. Citrus of some sort mm -hmm. in my mouth. Um, I only can pull pineapple out of, out of IPAs, so okay. that's where I'm at. <laughs> Uh, so it says citrus floral and fresh evergreen. Ooh, so you know when you get pine. that piney note? Here's yeah. the thing. I think you get way more pine out of IPAs than I. I can never pull pine. Here's the other thing. I usually get pine more on a gin. pale ale. No. Also gin. <laughs> uh, juniper tastes a lot like pine. I say Christmas trees. Uh, regardless, no. I do think I'm very sensitive to the pine flavor. Yes. Um, I am not. I can never pull that out of beer. Um, and I also don't really think that gin tastes like Christmas trees. I do. I just really love gin. 
Definitely, I get the citrus, I get the pine. I get a little bit of caramel too, I think. Ooh. Mm. That one's not too bitter too. If you're looking for more of an approachable IPA. But not I also like bitter. that it's not a juicy fella. Yeah. Like I think there's so much uh, saturation in the juicy, hazy IPA corner that it's nice that this one's just like very straightforward to Yeah, me. that was a good one. Damn. All right. How have they not won all the this awards? This sweet. Have what they won this? all the awards? Um, it is a Belgian Abbey Ale. I read Diagon Alley on that. Diagon Alley. I was like, oh cool, a Harry Potter beer. <laughs> no. Nope. Um, it is it. a Belgian Abbey Ale, exactly. and so that to me says that it's going to be boozy. Banana. I smell the banana notes. Yes. Boozy, a little bit phenolic, uh, which is like yeasty. The Belgian style just tends to be a little bit more on the, you'll almost get like a bubblegum taste. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This one is definitely more, you get banana on the nose and then bubblegum going down. I'm giving this back to you. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. It doesn't smell quite as like punch you in the face boozy as I was expecting. It I'm smells just, like bananas. I'm it? really happy that it's not uh, barley wine. <laughs> is how I feel. It's a Belgian quad. A quad. Ten point nine percent. I feel like in my brain an Abiel would usually have a totally dis different SRM. Like it would usually be much darker. I just like this. It's very boozy. Mm -hmm. It is very good though. That's an easy drinker for me. That is an easy drinker, which is actually very exciting to me because sometimes when we do these tastings and it's boozy and it makes me want to like almost gag it. Like, it's too boozy. Like when we did Bird Song's anniversary beers and we were like, huh, everything's tequila, tequila barrel aged. From barrel aged. Ooh. Oh my god, that was crazy. All right, that was really good. And now we've got uh, something a little refreshing. We've got a seltzer coming. A seltzer. In hot. Um, I didn't realize that they made seltzers here. Are you stepping out? No worries. Oh, no you're doing problem. great. I will make up a description. <laughs> Blackberry raspberry. Ooh, I can smell Ooh. that. Oh my god. That smells like, um, Ooh. this is a compliment, I swear. This is a compliment, I swear. It smells like a perfume I would have bought from, uh, Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. in 8th grade. Love Spell? Yes! Is it Love Spell? I, yeah, I think it would be Love or Spell. Or they also had a Blackberry spray. Yes, that's the one. It was definitely a purple <laughs> bottle. Yes. And yes, I, I know what you're it. talking about. Yes. Yeah, and it was, um... Oh my god. I had only, like, body mist back then, or body sprays. Of course. We should bring body sprays back. What are we doing? I... I just smell like deodorant. And th <laughs> this is true. I use Old Spice Lavender men's deodorant, yeah, and then yeah. I spray myself with straight lavender oil. I mean, that is my only scent. But do you do it to make you relax? Yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah. everyone else. I want to relax. Yeah. That's all relax. that I want. This that is, is so good. Really fucking good. Here's the thing, uh, mm. I we've said this before, I want you to stop drinking White Claws and Trulies and drink locally made seltzers because they're yes. made much more like handcrafted and intentionally to actually offer a good craft drinking experience. Yes, and you're supporting local. Exactly! Support Do your it. local boozeries! Alright, so we are on another is raspberry. Can time? No, we've got this guy left. So this is Wait. the... Wait, I, I don't think... Oh, did we not? A different one. Oh, that that's the end. That's the 15. Yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. All right, so right. midnight raspberries up here. Okay. So we gotta crack it. Remember our new drinking game, along with the girl who made up that if I flip my hair, if Mel winks, if we burp, if we burst into song, uh, you now have to time. drink every time we crack a can. So, drink. Fun fact: Ooh. when I used to have a uh, before blackberries, before iPhones whatever the fuck phone that I had, my text message sound was the cracking of a can because I was like, I love Diet Coke. And my mom was like, it sounds like you drink beer, 13 year old, stop it. Oh my God, I always have to, when I'm on conference calls, I ha if I'm opening a seltzer, I have to always open it and then go, it's not a beer, it's a seltzer. And they're like, well, it's like time. Like it's, you Ooh. could be opening a beer, but I always, that's the sound though. You yeah. think it's a beer. And in my brain, that literally every time I got a text, it would sound like a Diet beer. Coke. Oh my god. I loved Diet Coke. I did not know this about you. Are you serious? I didn't know. Holy shit. Okay, so freshman year when I was still dating Chad, Chad's family was obsessed with Diet Coke. Okay. And, I mean, to be fair, so was my mom. Like, I never got, like, milk with dinner as yeah. a kid. My mom literally poured me a fucking Diet Coke as a treat. Great job, Jen. Uh, <laughs> but no, Chad and I, it was, like, our thing. Like, when yeah. we were in Seventeen Magazine, uh, the shirt that he 
wore was the Diet Coke shirt that I made him for Best Boyfriend in America. You made him a Diet Coke shirt? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And you can look back in my Facebook or maybe on my Instagram and my freshman year when you had those mini fridges in your room. Yeah. Mine was, was always just Diet Coke. only Diet Coke. Wow. And then occasionally a water bottle Full that my, my oh. roommate would always put her Everclear yeah. next to my fucking water and I'd show up to 9 a.m. lecture like <gasps> That was me. That was the one time. Did, did I tell you the story about my no. mom doing that to me? What? So I had uh, over one summer I had done summer classes to get ahead. I didn't want to do it. Mel had to go to summer. No, school. I just wanted to do extra credits over the summer because I uh, didn't want to do. Um, um, I didn't want to take accounting at our main campus because accounting at our main campus was a nightmare. So I did it over the summer. That's so much darker than you thought it was. Not the color I was expecting. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, one time I was driving there and I had put a water bottle of vodka in, in the fridge, but I also had regular water bottles. At your parents' house? Yeah, but it was just a clear water bottle. But my mom decided she was going to combine all the water bottles because there were too many in there. So homegirl... Oh, Andrea. She combined the vodka into a regular water bottle, and I'm driving to class at like 8 a.m. that morning, and I take a swig, and I literally almost like swerved off the road. I was like, huh, no, mom, Someone, don't do that. Did you see? Also, can't she smell that? It's like clearly vodka. Well, bitch, I think she did is a I mean, maybe she could smell it. I don't know. Oh, oh, that a thing? <laughs> she didn't have it then. I thought it impacted your sense of smell. Oh, I don't know. Does yeah, it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's That's like a sign that. of people be like, if you smell like things that aren't there, it can be a sign of having one. <laughs> like, I wasn't being a dick. <laughs> bitch had an aneurysm. I'm like, don't be mean about your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you then thought I was oh my mean. my God. Well, you called her a bitch. Oh, I meant like, how we say, like, <laughs> bitch, please. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No, Andrea, I love you. She is a lovely lady. She is. She's a sweetheart, angel baby. Let's get back to beer Except here. Except when she pours you vodka in your water bottles. Agreed. Should I check the time? Probably. Okay, hold this. Are we at, we cut off at 30 minutes and we talk a lot. So let's oh, see where we are. Oh, three minutes. Yeah, I'm ready. And we're back. And we're back. Okay. Uh, so we are drinking currently the Midnight Raspberry. It's raspberry wheat, which is usually when you see them, it's like Way very, lighter. very light and sometimes <laughs> a little bit of pink just yeah. to like get the girls to drink it. I almost said bitches baby. again. I'm on a bitch train. It's okay. I've been saying tits a lot lately. Like that's the tits. All right. I'm not sure why, but ooh, that was a wet one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. So Midnight Raspberry is this color. But tastes very light. Like, I'm glad that she brought us this glass because in my mind, this would have been just a light raspberry ale. Yeah. Ooh, it's very good, too. Yes. I really like this. And this is another thing. I think that we tend to be like, we're grown-up beer drinkers. We drink an IPA. We drink a sour. We drink a whatever. And you know what? Sometimes going back to basics of a fucking wheat? fruited wheat ale is it's delicious. fantastic. It's really good. It's the move. All right. Wait, Are you ready to... Again. Ooh, that was a baby. That one. was like a whisper, like a ghost burp. <laughs> that was me. Oh, pretending. Burping. Oh, I thought you were also pretending so that you could get the points. Oh, that was a good one. You are very good at burping on command. I can burp the ABCs. Mel made me do it once on camera, and I was furious. That was fun. Okay, so this is the one I'm super Wait, excited suck on the for. Foam off. Yeah, yeah. Because it's called Mel Electrum, and my name's fucking Mel. So that's perfect. Her name's just Mel, not fucking Mel, although I would petition <laughs> to change that. Uh, I will also say it was very funny because we looked at this initially in the fridge, and it looks like a really cool can art, but once you get it in the light, it's like it sparkles. Yeah, they were saying they like, uh, they've been crushing it with the can art game. I mean, we, you'll see pictures of it from us, but uh, at the front here, they all look, one, very beautiful together, but two, they're all very fun and like, they are eye-catching, which is, you know, we've talked about this before. Can art does sell beer. You know what? They, a great job they say don't judge a book by the cover. I do that too. If you couldn't pay for a good graphic designer, that's your own fucking problem. Yeah, we don't think and, you're uh, a, good, a good book writer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know what else? I think a uh, good logo is key, and I think a good can art is key. Yes. I think Mel's right. gonna probably take home a, a couple of these. I, I guess. I mean, I feel like I should. It's my name. Did you, who'd you name this so after? Good. Who's Mel? Who's Mel? Uh, honey uh, in, in Latin is Mel. Oh, oh, oh in my Spanish, gosh, am I also a honey? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> don't tell her that. Is Mel. That's, That's amazing. Mel. Yes. Uh, so in Spanish it's miel. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that does make 
way more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I didn't know that. That's like kind of I a like that. translation of honey in a glass. Yep. That's the concept with the name. Ooh, it's Get ready for so Mel to talk about this nonsense. Yeah, we'll only say that. Uh, I'm sorry, my name's Honey. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I actually hate when people call me Honey. Because it's always like old people being like, oh, Honey. And you're like, I don't like I'm Honey fine. or Sweetie. I would honestly rather you call me Bitch. <laughs> I also work in like a very male dominated industry. Do and men like call you honey? They are always like, oh, you're like my daughter's age or you could be my daughter. And then they'll be sweetie or honey. And especially like it's, I work in HVAC. So like HVAC dealers, those people are the people that are like, yeah, a little bit out of touch from like females, I feel like in general. Uh, so they'll always do that. And you're like, great. That doesn't degrade me at all. Love it. A couple <laughs> things. One, I only ever want to drink this beer for the rest of my life. Two. <laughs> I don't like when men call me sweetie or honey. I don't mind darling because it feels kind of charming. Yeah. Uh, I love, so Andrew and I weirdly call each other sug or sugar <laughs> all the time, but when you spell it out, it looks like we're saying sug. It looks really stupid. Um, well, it's this, like leash is L I C, but it looks, looks like, like lick. lick. <laughs> Give me hey, a lick. lick. I'll answer. That uh, is fucking delicious. That's so good. That just tastes like straight up. Here, wait, honey. let me read the direction, uh, the description for it. Please. It is 6.9%. Also, wow. Very wow. good. Uh, the Greeks considered amber to be a beautiful stone cast of resin, which allowed the beaming sun to pass through its clear core like radiant glass. May I pause and yes. sing? Whoa. Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa. That's like a normal, like, it's ska, I think. It's like, oh, what is the, it? Oh my god, who sings that? Uh, shit. Is three, it Real Big Fish? 311. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and we play it at the Northside Country Club, aka that's the Inflatable so Pool, funny. in our backyard. Oh my god. Uh, also, the name Melanie is Greek, so that's an interesting little, like, my name's component. Mel, and my name's so interesting. Listen. It's never interesting. It's so boring. <laughs> Mel is literally like the like uh, tomboy name that you get for Melissa or Mel. Melanie, I guess. Melissa, Melanie. People just will call me Melissa. People will call me Alicia and I hate it. Uh, anyway, we were inspired by the natural elegance of this definition and wanted to make our own honey in a glass to Love share it. that wonderful warmth with you. Drink. This American amber is strong as stone and soft as silk. Much like us. Oh, guys. Strong as stone and soft as silk. It's like metal. Luscious honey flows through. Oh, wait. Read this in your sexy voice. Oh, in my voice. sexy voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that, it's a sexy voice one. Uh, Anything with right luscious. Right there, right there. Yeah. Luscious honey flows through a delicious base of mild and caramel malts, leading to rich copper and amber hues, a smooth mouthfeel, <laughs> and a clean ale finish. Amazing. Yes. And this is how we get please, the followers. Please hire Alicia as either. Could someone a, hire me for phone sex? Are you a sex? phone sex person, or I are you guess. also like a like maybe like a romance novel reader? You could do that. Your voice would be great for that. Oh my god, you're so right. Why haven't I been reading audiobooks this whole time? I don't know. I also do a lot of accents. You so are I'm, great at accents. I am pretty good at accents and impressions. So I oh, feel man. like I could read like in a British accent for a pretty long time. You for time. sure could. My family's British, my husband's German. So. She had to play a Scottish lady at one of our murder mystery dinners. I did. My name's Bonnie it. Lass, I'm a Scottish reporter. She did great. She killed it. You're really good at impressions. You know what? I'm I, not. I should have been an actress. <laughs> This is uh, this is me fulfilling that dream. Why were you Someone not? Did you us. ever do? You did musicals. I sure did in high school, but musicals you stopped at place. Penn State. I did stop at Penn State. Wow. Why? Uh, I joined a Christian a cappella band. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? In high school or in college? Oh my god. <laughs> the Grace Notes. What? The Grace Notes. Oh my uh, god. Why did I not know this? Was it only your freshman year <laughs> yeah. and like before you met? Me? I was done by the time that you and I okay. were friends. Uh, but the <laughs> one girl from Grace Notes, uh, Jenny Jenny Shao, she ended up dating Chad. Oh. And she well, met him weird. through me, and I was like, that was weird. Because you were dating, and then. Uh, and then we met up in New York because she was also inter interning there. And uh, we got really drunk, and she was like, he took my virginity too. And I was like, this is the weirdest. This is Hate the worst this. time. Stop it. <laughs> no. Anyway, Christian acapella shit. Jenny didn't work with Shao. Me. A satanic acapella group I can get into. Hail Hail Satan. Satan. Uh, all right. Anyway, uh, we made it to an IPA. Did we? A hazy IPA. So look how pretty this is. All right. So they're crushing it. Wait, they're look at crushing this. The this candy. is so pretty. Just the even before the, the clouds. Logo. Ooh, it's like cotton candy. It does look like cotton candy. Do you think it's gonna taste like? Yeah. That? I'm like very 
excited about the the taste of this. What one. is this gonna taste like? Cloud Rise Hazy IPA is the peak of elevated enjoyment. Notes of pineapple. Yeah, and, and oranges. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Crushed pineapple and zesty orange from cashmere and mosaic hops meet a bright dankness only Simcoe can offer. I think you, you like Simcoe, Simcoe hops. Out of there? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So Simcoe and Citra are two of the only ones that I know, like offhand, I would say. Um, I think you'll really like this. This is cute. Pillows of white are suspended above the hazy atmosphere of this delightful brew. They did a really good job writing their description. I want to so know cute. if this was Cassie, because if it was, she deserves a raise. Well, so Cassie looks like a baby. She's got to be like 22. I'm like, she, right? I think she could be like 21. Like, she has to be of drinking age, right? You would think. She okay. likes the chai, so she okay, must yeah. be. Yeah. Or we're ratting her out, and yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen. I made that up. <laughs> Everyone is so nice here. This one's good. I don't want to leave Boone and go back to places where people are less nice than this. Yeah, what? we have to go back to cities and just hide in her house. Let's be honest. Do you have a thought? I thought it was good. I really liked uh, that. Juicy still has a little bit of bitterness to mm -hmm. it, um, but I don't know. Maybe I maybe Simcoe isn't my favorite. Hop. Oh, is that? I it? Feel like, been trying to figure that out. Because I feel like if that was a Citra, because it's the dankness, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, here are these like cashmere mosaic hops that are like probably made for more juicy beers, mm -hmm. and then they're like, but Simcoe will give you a bite. And you know what? I don't think it's a bad beer, but I don't think I would pick it. I would definitely pick it because I think for me, I don't like when a beer becomes all juice. Like we had one like that yesterday where I'm like, I don't want this just to be straight up like no bitterness because I like that component of it. So if I'm going to have a hazy, I want it to have a bite. What is this? This you is got really excited. a cranberry pomegranate Kolsch. I'm going to hate it because it's going to remind me of drinking absolute oh, cranberry palm awesome. vodka my freshman year. I love a good Cape Cotter, aka Cranberry Vodka. It's fucking good. Uh, is cranberry that what vodka, called? Yeah, Cape, Cape Cotter is Cranberry Vodka Lime. Wait, I thought that was a Cosmo. No. Oh, you add vermouth to that. <laughs> Got it. And you put it up. But this sounds like I will like it. It sounds like I will not like it. Oh, that's good. I it's not, it's... no, it's not too aggressive on the fruit flip. Toss flavors. this back so that we can pour this. You got it. You don't have to drive, so mm -hmm. that's why I'm forcing you to do it. I want to see if it's the same color. No. Okay, so this well, is... Well, the Kolsch was the chai Kolsch. Right, but this wheat ale... Was dark. Was yes, dark. Yes, you're right. Okay. But this was the other Kolsch. This right, 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 right. So right. they probably are, like, pretty close. A little, a little bit, bit darker, darker because of the pomegranate. berry. Yeah. Mm, cranberry. That makes sense. Mm, oh, it, it makes smells sense. good. Okay, so I actually really like this. Here's what I think the problem is. I think I don't like when it's a berry seltzer because that feels like it could be the vodka. But when you one, add yeah. beer taste into it, I think I'm fine. Well, and this one's not, it's not a super fruity beer. It's literally like beer with a hint, which I like. Ooh, goes for yeah. Wow, I really like that. It's really I'm good, so isn't it? surprised. I'm not I'm, usually I'm a, happy fruited, a fruited beer person. I like whenever we're like, I like this, I don't. Or like, I'm super surprised that I liked this thing. Yeah. That's the best part about this. When we like dreamed up, we'll take the lot, I think we were just like, hey, it'd be cool if we drank all the beer. And then now it's like, no, I want to I want to like more things. Let's but, go backwards and talk about the birth, the crowning, if you will, out of the womb of us. Uh, what of us the says, fuck am I talking about? <laughs> uh, the... Of we'll take the lot. Right. Work for your beer. Okay. Of, okay. of we'll take the lot. So Mel and I traveled to Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. To see my favorite murder live. Yes. And to visit. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and here's the thing. Fuck everyone. Uh, both of those are true. Anyway, we went to do that, but then while we were there, we visited with our good friend Elena, mm -hmm. who Mel was good friends with in college, uh, and we remain good friends with now. She's the best. She took us to a bunch of breweries because we happened to run a company called Work For You, we were fancy that, and as we went to all these places, we were like, shit, we want to try everything, and so with the four of us, her friend Allie, and then the two of us, yep. uh, we would go and we would say, hey, listen, we want to try everything. Can we have flights of everything? 
And that's where it started. And at some point, we joked about it being yeah, like, we'll oh, take we'll take the lot. lot. Like, we'll have everything. Yeah, and like, in like the first Harry Potter, where he's like, anything from the trolley dudes? And he's like, we'll, we'll take, take the lot. lot. Which also, you can't do that. Other people need candy. Yeah, that was the funniest thing. My friend okay. sent that to me the other day. It was a meme of no. like, we'll take the lot. And it's like, you can't do that. There are other students on this train. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it. we started it when you came to Richmond. Yes. And we went to Busky Cider. And we just decided we like, after we couldn't do yoga, yes. we were like, what if we took a video of us like drinking all these beer or all these ciders? And then they let us. They were so like, we'll we give are. it to you. Yeah, and then we did the Vail that trip too, and the Vail had, uh, they don't do flights, so we had we seven, seven, six, 17 six ounce pours. <laughs> And they were beautiful. All we triple wine glasses. They were like, all like triple and double IPAs. Oh my god. It was insane. That we, one was really we rough. Had, but we didn't ask anyone to come. We just did it. And then we figured maybe we should reach out to people beforehand and be like, we're going to drink all the beer. But the beauty of it has been, I would say even when we went to Asheville, the guy at Wedge was like, oh, these girls scam everyone into giving them their beer. I'm like, I am sorry. <laughs> We give you marketing in exchange for beer instead of you paying us. Do you so have kind of works twenty five thousand dollars? Yeah, that yeah. Thing? That's our influencer uh, voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, we. Our thing is, we want to taste all the beer, and we want to be able to give you a genuine look into. Here's our experience tasting all of these. Here's what we like. Here's what we like about the brewery space. Uh, here's why you should or shouldn't visit. I don't think we tend to share any of the ones that we don't. Well, and I don't think we've been to a space that we've been like, I hated that experience. Like we've been to, like at, no matter where we've gone, we've been like, okay, this has been like yeah. a fun experience. Even if it was like not our favorite beers. I just yeah. flipped through my brain Rolodex to be like, is that true? And can confirm. Yeah. Like every single place we've gone to has been very different and unique and welcoming. Yeah. Agreed. Plus, Although, I think Boone has been the most welcoming. Yes, I was literally... So like everyone else get on Boone's level. Yeah, if everyone could be as nice to us as people in Boone, we'd be very appreciative. <laughs> That'd be great. Be nicer. Be get nicer. Smarter. Be better. That's it. <clears throat> okay, so okay. we have, oh, just the uh, normal Kolsch now. And then we have this boy. We So we should try these ones back to back because Kolsch, cranberry Kolsch, right? Sure, and chai Kolsch. And chai. Oh, Kolsch. Coach city bitch. Coach coach city, city bitch. bitch. Ten, 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 twenties on the titties, bitch. I on these titties. Let me just say, for the record, I tried to get my husband not to propose as early as he did so that we could get married on ten, ten, twenty, <laughs> and that that could be our wedding song. And he refused and thought it was frivolous. Wow. Which seems Andrew. It, Andrew it was like that was would have been on brand for However, Andrew. okay. 10, 10, 20, 20 would have been in the middle of a pandemic, so I guess good call. Yeah. I think you did it the right way. I think I iced him during the garter removal. This was probably my favorite idea of all time. Yes. And that should have gone like, viral. I just have to say. We should reshare that. Let's reshare that video. Put it on our YouTube channel. Yes. So basically what we did. Life goals. I said, Alicia, you have to do this to Andrew. You did? No. Yes, this was my idea. No. I sent you the video of it on Instagram of another person doing it. And I said, we have to do this to Andrew. It'll be hilarious. Yeah. Mel would have to prove this because I thought I could. I will scroll through my messages to prove okay. it. But... I also was the one shoving it under her dress when it happened. Um, but I was like, this if nothing else happens, this is happening during this wedding. It was amazing. I have to say, I was very, very lucky to have you as my matron of honor and Whitney as my maid <laughs> oh, of honor. Oh, you mean your uh, actual wedding planner? Genuinely, I was so <laughs> lucky because without Mel and Whitney, Whitney drove my drunk ass oh, brother yeah. who busted his face open and got the cops Derek. called on him back to his hotel. Derek. Uh, Whitney drove Andrew and I to our hotel at the end of the night with a pizza. Like, she was sober and great. Bless. You, I was in the middle of dancing with my dad and was like, I'm done, this is the worst. Please make the music stop. I'm the DJ and I'm like, <laughs> done. <laughs> and then someone added a song to your playlist and you're like, get out of here. Yeah, I was like, you can't fucking touch that iPad. That's my, my iPad. It's my iPad. I know the songs that make weddings hot. It was great. We did it. We had, uh, I had a fun wedding. It was amazing. Yeah. It was really fun. And Luna was your little flower girl. My dog, my great Pyrenees was my flower girl. Also the fact that perfect. it was a double brewery wedding was the best. I think it was great. You had a great wedding. It was great. Uh, what are we drinking? A Kolsch. 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 Straight Kolsch. <laughs> We've been drinking. Kolsch uh, city, this bitch. Is, Kolsch, this was Kolsch, the thing Kolsch, we did bitch. in college. I'm not drunk, but I've been drinking. Is that a thing? Yeah. Andrew, one time, <laughs> I asked him when we were still dating long distance, I said, how many beers do you think you've had tonight? And he said, Alicia. Are you ready with that voice already? Alicia. 
Uh, girls and boys count drinks. Men and women drink them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Right. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's funny. All right. So that cold? Clean. Good. Tasty. Uh, it's a good cold. Here's the thing. I love that it's the base for these two because we like these ones a lot. Exactly, too. and I think a Kolsch is a really good base for adding in all these different notes because it's it's not even that it's bland, it's just a really good canvas. It's clean. Right. It's clean canvas. It's clean, it's crisp, it's got that malt backbone that kind of can take on these other flavors without yep. having to be totally overpowered. I agree. Yeah. I'm here for it. This is delightful. Yay! What does it say? Pilsner malts, that's my favorite. <laughs> I love a Pilsner. Pills, baby! Alright, okay. the last one on the list is, I think, my busiest one. We've had, you have been crushing it. Guy who counts our burps. She won this round? Could you, crazy. could you mail me a crown? I'll send you our P.O. box. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick it up. Don't worry. <laughs> I go to the post office once a quarter, and then I get some lady whose P.O. box it was before ours. I get all of her mail. Yep. And I'm like, great. Anyone want to send us? P.O. box 5151, Charlotte, North Carolina. Two... Zero two five nine. I think it's two eight. Two, two eight five nine. Two eight two nine nine. There two we eight, go. Two nine, anyway, that's the PO box. I check it once a quarter. So if you want to send something there, you can do that. Send us presents. All right. This is Ripple in the River. It is an IPA, but it's an Imperial IPA. Hence the nine point eight percent. Here's what we've learned, though. The higher the ABV on an IPA, typically the more mellow the flavor profile is going to be. Do you get that smooth, smooth? Oh my God, it's so good. Wow. Are you going to say the thing I think you're going to say? No. Okay. I don't think so. I don't have words though, so. Okay. <laughs> what do you think I was going to say? Sometimes you say sex in my mouth. Oh. No. Okay. Uh, Not sex in her mouth. Stop that. I got that bug. Uh, it says, the universe asked us for a new IPA and we were moved to make some ripples. <clears throat> Feel the flow of life in liquid form with notes of chewy malt, juicy guava, persimmons, and aged tobacco. I cannot fucking for the life of me pull out tobacco because I've, I've never tobacco. fucking smoked a cigarette. Listen, <laughs> I've smoked, not a cigarette, but I've smoked a, a cigar. cigar, also a pipe once. Oh, so I looked really cool smoking a pipe. Like a, uh, like a root pipe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want a picture of that. Do you have a picture of it? Matthew I knew that. Actually, Matthew's I smoked pipe. a cigar once with Sean and Glima at an Onward State thing. I have pictures. I have an entire album of literally everyone smoking cigars. Andrew so. and I used to smoke cigars with his buddies in college, which seems like not the right age for us to have done. I feel like it's like you're either like 20 and, and like are bored at, or you're like 70 and you're like, this is what I do now. Yeah. This is my time. I was going to do the Simba thing because this feels like the golden child of this brewery, which is... Ah! <laughs> it's the best. I love you. You just showed that. I sure did, but you know, you had to. Okay, so I'm gonna read the rest of this. Burst of tropical coconut aroma rift off the surface of this roaring IPA. Enjoy our newest big brew and the little things that go into making each moment sweeter than the last. Very precious. Mel, should we get married? Yes. To one another. Well, yeah. But... <laughs> I'm like, we're both already married, but like... But I feel like a, we could have a work for your beer wedding. That would be really fun. <laughs> what if that's our fifth birthday? Yeah, it's just us getting married. Okay. I feel like our husbands would be like, well, cool, 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 cool. we've made it here. <laughs> Here's the thing. Fuck everyone? Well, sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I just meant, we're already committing to, we're going to have a mountain house together that we share. We're yeah. going to have a beach house She's going to move to Germany and then adopt me so that I can move to Germany. I said to Belle, <laughs> what if we adopted you and Ellen as we were talking about how fucked America is? I was like, what if we just adopted you and Ellen? And she was like, why? Was like, yeah, she said it out of context. She's like, we can adopt you and Ellen. And I was like, that's weird. Oh my God, Ellen! Oh my God, Ellen! Hey! Hello. This is Belle's husband. He's with us. Hello. <laughs> there we are. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. On the key. Yeah. <laughs> no, on the mouth. Okay, we're watching though the the vow, and their thing is that they kiss everyone on the Hi. mouth when they see each other, and it's weird. Do you want a beer? Yeah. Do you want to drink this Mel beer? It's a Mel is beer. That your choice though. No, you can okay. drink the Mel beer. What's it's called Mel. What's it's called. Oh. Mel Electrum. Honey, he drove two hours to pick me up today. He sure did. Is pancake in the car? I deserve more than a beer. No, I wasn't gonna drive. Pancake. Four hours. Pancake. 
We're gonna get you a burger too. Yes. Oh, that'd be great. Yes. Okay. Go in on that. I don't know. Like, I feel like. Does anybody else get weird about having their dog in a car for like multiple? Oh hours? my god, yeah. I would be weird I'm, about that. I feel like. I'm like one slip away from like not having a dog. So I, I get just, super I don't, scared. I don't like He's doing... gonna be so excited when we come back, though. <laughs> I don't like driving with him. I don't have to. Oh, anyway, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> okay. What was your favorite, dude? Oh boy. Also, all of our male viewers are gonna be pissed to remember that Mel's married. You're married too. <laughs> so where am I? I'm just... <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh. Oh, there's so many good ones. Literally. I love every single bit which never happens. from the first one, but I also feel like this fucking this was like a surpriser for me. I still can't get over the color. Pour it in here if you're gonna okay. drink that one for sure. This is Alan. This is uh oh, I'm bad at pouring. I'm beer. scared. This is a raspberry <laughs> wheat ale. Would you ever have guessed that looking at it? No way. Right. It's I'm like super stoked. No, it's a raspberry wheat ale. Everything but the head looks like a stout. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. Delightful. <laughs> Alan's gonna get to help us finish all these flights. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, I know, I love him too. <laughs> I need something for this two hour drive back. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Just like a happy buzz. Just a happy buzz. Okay. Um, I think mine might still be the Schwarz beer. That was okay. a really solid brew. I feel like they killed it on this lot. Again, usually I have at least one that I'm like, did not like that, and I loved every single one. I know, one today, which right? Which never happens. We Usually, listen, I'm Good very, job. you've Rocky. seen, you've Fair seen, I'm very straightforward when I don't like beer. You are. All right, let's do it. Uh, what should our cheers be, Alan? A lot of these were German. Yeah, what do you want us to do? Like, we have to say a thing when we cheers. What do you think? Should oh. we? Pick a language. Uh, oh, you have to say it in a different language? We can. Well, or just like a, just a different way to say it. Like or oh, that's cute. Yeah. What's your oh. tagline? Okay. Yeah. Go, Go to the, the mountains. mountains. Yeah. Them. We finish our favorite. Oh, okay, oh and Alan's so never happy. watched a full take lot. <laughs> I'm like, Alan, we've taken the lot at like 30 breweries. He's like, you guys finished the one at the end. <laughs> but I will say, my husband was like, listen, I listen to you talk all fucking day. Why would I watch a video? I get to you listen to all the sound bites on repeat yes, on the couch. Yes. Oh, because <laughs> I, I have to edit them, and I'm like, he's like, can you put headphones on? I'm like. I'm like, they're so far away. He's like, like God I damn it, I'll leave. I've heard all the good bits like 50 times. Oh, good. shit. I don't need any more. Oh, <laughs> no. We talk about you a lot. Yeah, I, got, I get to hear those tidbits as well. Cool. They're all really Texting nice. Texting LV like, hey. Uh, hey, <laughs> our, our wives said this about us oh, this God. week. Guys, do you think his voice sounds like Seth Rogen or Will Arnett? Say, I think it sounds like words. Will Arnett. Yeah, say, for say, sure. say uh, I've made a huge mistake. Now, now I'm like self-conscious about Just it. speak like a person. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> That's very good. Could you say hello, darkness, my old friend? Can I say it? I yeah. Mean, I know it's the song that happens. Is there, am I supposed to be like singing this? No, I just want you to say words that you're not going like, to do it in their I feel voice. Like it's the sound of silence. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Well, Aww. yeah, absolutely. Good job, I, now. I just wanted you to say words that you wouldn't immediately be like, that's a quote from that one or that oh, one. Oh, well, then I did it for a song. So you sure did. <laughs> you did great. I botched it. You're lovely.